Hello boys and girls, we're going to teach you how to make the elephant toothpaste. It's not a bomb, it's very safe, it's good, try it at home. It's like the baking soda volcano thing with cooler. These are my safety goggles. Be safe. They're good for you. Okay, you're going to need yourself some hydrogen peroxide. It's best to have about 6%. If you want to go crazy and get the big stuff, like 30%, but that'd be a little much. Have your dish soap. I recommend Joy. Brings joy to the world. It's good. Need yourself some warm water. You only need a few tablespoons, but we have a lot. Get yourself some yeast. Yeast is nice. Makes things happy. All right. <clears throat> First thing we're gonna do: put your safety goggles on. Need to do that. All right. Take your bottle. Need a bottle. It's good for that. Take a half a cup. Half a cup of your hydrogen peroxide. Take your measuring cup. Go ahead and measure up half a cup. Take your bottle, put it in there. Good. And take your dish soap. You can use a measuring cup. I don't think it's necessary. I'm a professional. I can measure out a tablespoon without even trying. I'm that good. good. Tablespoon dish soap. Like so. Stir it up a little bit. Good. Good. Take your cup that you used before. You don't need to do anything with it right now. Tablespoon of water. Delicately place it in. Do not spill it. That'd be bad. Two. And three. You got yourself three tablespoons of water right there. It's good. It's good. Got yourself some yeast. A tablespoon of yeast. Pre measured. It's the good stuff. Put that into your water. I get all of it out. It's exactly one tablespoon. Take your cup. Stir it. You need to do this gently. If you do it too roughly, the yeast will not like you and it will not grow. So be gentle. It will turn a little bit whitish of a color. It's okay. It's good. Set that up so all the clumps are out, like pancake mix. You don't like clumps in your pancake mix. You like it to be smooth. Once you are done with that, you will move over to your demonstration area with the two solutions that you have made. You go over to your area where you will demonstrate. As you may see, there is this voice. Puddle here. That was my friend from an earlier experiment from not wearing his safety glasses. Wear your safety glasses. You have your solution of soap and hydrogen peroxide. Put that on the ground. Yeast and water. You mix the two and stuff out. Ta-da. Ta-da. That's how you do it. Three major components in this experiment are hydrogen peroxide, yeast, and soap. The reaction started with the yeast and water solution being poured into the hydrogen peroxide and soap solution. A decomposition reaction then occurs with the help of the yeast as catalyst. The decomposition reaction occurred with the hydrogen peroxide splitting into oxygen and water. The soap then captures the oxygen as bubbles, which is what causes the foam. The foam also started to steam in the video, but you could sadly not see it. It started to steam because the reaction that was taking place was exothermic, or a reaction that releases heat. So if we go deeper into our experiment, we can analyze the chemical reactions happening within the reaction. So if we put up our base reaction of hydrogen peroxide in an aqueous solution yields water as a liquid and oxygen as a gas. And now if you notice, there's something wrong with this equation. 
it's not balanced. Over here, we have two oxygen atoms and three oxygen atoms on the product side. So if we go over to the reactants, there has to be one more oxygen atom over here. But the only way we can add one is by adding two. So we add a two coefficient to the hydrogen peroxide, which then makes four and four oxygen, four hydrogen and four oxygen atoms. Over here, we only have two hydrogen atoms and three oxygen atoms. So to, so to balance this out, we have to add a coefficient of two to the water, which means we have four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms with another two oxygen atoms with in, in, in oxygen gas. Now this is balanced and we can work with it by adding our iodide catalyst, which is yeast in our video, to the equation. So now we rewrite the equation, hydrogen peroxide in aqueous solution plus the iodide atom in an aqueous solution yields oxygen bonded to the iodide atom and water in a liquid solution. So if you notice, we don't have to have the coefficients up here anymore because oxygen bonded to this as a separate, as a separate molecule. So now, if we go one more step down, the reaction actually occurs. You write the equation, hydrogen peroxide, aqueous solution, plus oxygen bonded to the iodide catalyst. Now, on the, product, on the reactant side, so in the product, it will yield the iodide atom by itself in an aqueous solution, plus water liquid solution, and hydrogen gas. So now if you notice where the reaction is taking place here, the hydrogen peroxide plus the oxygen and iodide atom yields the iodide, which is now gone from the reaction, and speeds up the decomposition reaction between hydrogen peroxide, which yields water and oxygen.